Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to Stall Racing Vlog. Another race day and a sweaty race day. Uh, pretty sure humidity has exceeded 100%, um, but it's still a beautiful day nonetheless. And uh, it'll be Dad and myself racing again today. And Dad has tried out a new interesting uh, chain strategy. Um, I think he's trying to go for less resistance. He has decided to not run on the uh, sprocket here and instead try to go on the sprocket guard. It's a bold strategy and we'll see if it pays off. strangest thing I don't know if he had too much slack in his chain for that practice session for the first session of the morning but uh, it jumped the sprocket onto the uh, chain guard although truthfully that sprocket's pretty dang big it doesn't have to make a big jump um, yeah so kind of interesting there so he's getting a new chain we'll get that fixed up and uh, keep you guys updated on the, along the way so just a little PSA public service announcement if you uh, get a new chain like dad did um, it's good to keep in mind that a new chain is gonna stretch the first run while it's on the cart so um, what we've kind of started doing is we will start the cart and we I just ran it for a bit just giving it some throttle and already the chain loosened up quite a bit and what's the benefit there is uh, you can fix that uh, here on in the pits, you know, before you get on track. Because if you go out on track, it stretches out, and there's a good chance it's it can get too sloppy, too much stretch, and you could, you know, especially in Dad's case where he doesn't have much uh, of a chain guard there, uh, it can you know jump the chain guard. So just a little trick that we do, uh, you know, maybe it'll help you out. Oh, real quick. Uh, last step though once you do that now I'll go back and retension it and take it back to uh, the tension that that we like which actually normally that's that's pretty good tension I just don't love how little chain guard dad has protecting him but yeah usually that's about that's about the tension we would run loose chain good chain but I'm gonna have to tighten it up a little bit for dad. You guys are seeing history in the making. The old man has never been this far up on the grid in qualifying. This and dare I say he might go a little farther forward? Yeah. <laughs> it's not qualifying, it's in line to qualify. This is my best performance ever. Getting in line. The best to qualify. Getting in line. Yeah. <laughs> I've been real aggressive. I want to thank the cart stand, <laughs> thank Casey, you know, we just uh, wouldn't take no for an answer and we pushed up all, it looks like we'll be 12th or 13th out of pit lane, so it's a real good performance for us. So qualifications are over, qualified 18th out of 26th, um, had something every lap, so I think there was a little bit more in the cart. Uh, I'm four tenths off 17th. I don't think anything cost me four tenths, so I ended up where I belonged. Uh, thank you to uh, a cart in uh, lap two that that gave me a courtesy, pointed me low, and uh, allowed me to save some time and get by him. I appreciate that. And I think the cart's pretty good for the race. We'll see how it how it goes. I'm fairly optimistic. Hey, good morning. It is a beautiful morning. And we are here at the German Chocolate Cake of Go-Kart Tracks, Newcastle Motor Sports Park. For the Morning Walk with Dad. You know, I've been trying to up my game here on the Morning Walk. And this week, we're going to talk about Occam's Razor. Actually, we're not going to talk about it. 
Occam's razor, you will often heard, is defined or described as the simplest explanation is the best explanation or the right explanation. Well, what it technically means, Occam's razor is, you shouldn't multiply factors arbitrarily. And so the correct hypothesis is usually the one with the fewest assumptions. None of that matters. What matters is if the simplest best, if the simplest explanation is the best explanation is not Occam's razor, there is ground for us to grab. So from now on, the simplest explanation is the best explanation is Stahl's razor. So Stahl's razor says that if we were to look at my qualifying run today, which was mediocre, we could look at the cart, we could look at the engine, and we could look at the driver. Well, we know the cart is as good as it gets. The power is as strong as it gets. So the simplest explanation is the driver is not that good. I think we have plenty of proof. Stahl's razor, put it in the bank. You know, when we camp, we camp here in our Jayco SLX 26 BH, something like that. That's the model number. But I was telling the family, it uh, that may be changing because right here, I have offered a straight up trade, our camper for his, and I haven't heard back yet, but there's a chance that next week we'll be camping in something different. Well, I qualified, um, got fourth, which is just fine. I mean, I'm happy with fourth because um, the cart is, man, it's on point. It's very fast. There was, there was more there for sure, which kind of comes to some frustration, like just historical. Just, I've been doing this for a long time now. We started in 2015 and, uh, that whole time I've only had one pull. I think it was last year. And it was in the rain, which is my strongest here. I've never gotten a pull in the dry. And I know why every time. It's all about strategy out here because they don't allow bump drafting. So you can't touch the bumper in front of you. And so the key is a gap. And like I said, I know this going out there. I know it. And I think I have enough of a gap and uh, Turns out I, you know, I don't, and I didn't in this most recent session. And uh, so there's some frustration there that I just cannot get it through my thick head to play it smarter. Um, I'd like to say it'll change, but I don't know that it will at this point. It's just, it, uh, maybe that's just how I'm programmed. Is that it's just hardwired into me to, to not leave enough of a gap but um still fourth not a complaint about fourth uh just a over overview of it there's a complaint there from my side just that i don't play it that smart that's frustrating because the cart had every bit of the speed to get pulled every bit of it but uh congrats to rob who got pulled and uh I'm, you know i hope to be uh tapping on your bumper before too long. Okay, Munch, this is the last lap. Dada is currently number three. Number three. Sunday. There he is. Still number three. Oh, now number four. Good job, Dada. Hey Ben, can we see that back? I've heard about the back. No. Oh, let's see it. Now I definitely want to see it. it there's nothing to see. Yet. Really? Let's really? Prove that one. Regan, is there anything to see? There's not. No comment. Yeah. <laughs> just leading the pit. In my head, it blends in. With I the yeah, I was gonna say. I wonder if we could tell. Yeah. Let's see. He honestly did it. Have a look. Oh, I figured it would. Oh. Oh, let's see it all though. Oh, oh, maybe you don't want to peel it up. <laughs> what happened? How? What happened to cause that? I just was napping yesterday. Napping where? On a tube. On a lake. <laughs> In the sun. 
You know, a couple weeks ago, we were at Whiteland for a race with Casey, and we had a group next to us, and they left us a real nice note when they left, and one of the questions they ask is, where's REO Speedwagon? Well, today, they are back. So here we have the Braille Art Ghost Powered REO Speedwagon. She's a rocket. Oh wait, she's saying something. She's saying, time for me to fly. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Knuckles. I love you. I love you. I'm fixing it. Fixing the tire pressure. Hi, Dada. Hi, Dada. Hi, Dada. Do the other wheel. Do the other wheel. It'll go fast. Yeah, then it'll go fast. It'll go fast. You know, it's nice to have a little hype man. You just like my little hype man. Hey there, man. You are. Little race wrap up here. I started fourth in that race, and it would, did not go well. Almost immediately. <laughs> so, started fourth, and uh, first place, uh, caught the curb, and I think that that sent him wide into second place which knocked her off track and between one and two uh she's gonna have to come back on and as she was doing that um i had a guy to my inside i had people pushing me it was just like converging on me. Somebody hit my left side here and uh, gave me a little Squeak to the axle. I don't know if the camera will show it, but there's a little, little bend there, and that was enough to really change the card. It was not, it was not fast at that point. Ran in the pack. There was a lot of lot of racing there. Coming into uh, uh, one of the corners, I was too wide with Logan. And uh, so we went too wide through one corner and then a second corner. And he, I knew he was gonna have me uh, in that next corner. And so he, he had that corner.
I was on the outside and whoever was behind him, the guy that was behind him, um, just decided to use every inch of the track and uh, shoved me off track. be completely honest with you guys I did not receive that very well um, so got knocked off track and my my mission at that point was to catch him and pass him Had a good little battle with Cameron uh, through the horseshoe and uh, into the, the next hairpin. So I caught the guy that shoved me off coming up into the corner that I had been shoved off in. And he defended heavy into that corner. And mind you, we're racing for 12th here, guys. Defended heavy, why does that happen? What is, can, if somebody in the comments could let me know why you defend for 12th place, I'd love to know. But it happened, but I stayed there. When he went outside, to set up for the corner i just stayed and had the inside line and that momentum happened to carry me to the outside of the track and i ended up getting 12th position and that's where i finished oh no that that crossed the block yeah Yeah, Dad, Dad was in a crash, but he's okay. He's still going. Still going? He's still going. He's still racing. That okay? Uh-huh, he's okay. Dad, what goes through an 18th place starting spot person's head? Oh, I'm thinking about Stahl's razor right now. And, uh... Which I'm not, I don't get it, what that is. Yeah, Stahl's razor, I explained it earlier, okay? Race wrap up, uh, started 18th, had a really good start, um, hung in my line and my line was uh, two by two with the other line and and we went through one, two and three and uh, singled out a little bit by four. there on I I got around uh, George um, and uh, had been passed by John pulled back in on John and I was trying to follow him closely the boys have been on me for not doing more of that and uh, 
you know, for the most part, it was, it was successful. But I did get into uh, John. I had a good exit of a a hairpin and I, I just you know got into his bumper a little bit and it shot my car into the grass and George was able to get back by me That put me in 18th and that's where it finished i couldn't get back past john or george but um you know it went it wasn't too bad you know uh did some things better improved over qualifications as you would expect but it was more than a second in lap time uh best time for me each so just uh you know gotta find a way to get better i need to find a half second <laughs> somewhere so we'll see did you know it was the last lap why didn't you pop out? I was trying to get a draft. If I popped out too early, I didn't know. Oh, but you hit him. <laughs> no, I didn't bump him. Oh, okay. The angle. I definitely think he, I think he well, looked like a bump. Because <laughs> he for sure was closer to him than the other car scoop forward. So. <laughs> now I, I entered a little later trying to come around with an angle. I don't think I lost any time. I just didn't get right to his bumper like I was wanting to. We'll, we'll check the video. Yeah. I know I'm right. <laughs> okay, so we just got home, about to unload, and I needed to admit publicly and in front of Dad that I was wrong. After his race, I said that he had bumped the guy in front of him instead of passing him. Dad, I was wrong. I knew you were reviewed the footage and he did not tap him it so my bad <laughs> but overall uh it was a great weekend and honestly like anytime you're at the cart track great time um dad was great i mean dad his result, you look at it 16th, I think is where he finished. Obviously he wants to be higher up, but what I look at is how he races and I guess the aggression that he'll show. And I saw a lot of that. And that was really good to see. Um, that's really all I ever want to see from dad is him him driving to his, you know, his tail off really. Um, and that's what he did, so that was awesome to see. And then mine, obviously, not great. Kind of a weekend, a race to forget. Um, but that's racing. That stuff happens. So uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. Hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.